We bring you some breaking news from Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox. Right now, we are over, uh, this looks like uh, 55 uh, northbound from uh, Lime Ferry. Um, it looks like there is a GMC, either 2003 or 2007. Uh, it looks like it's driving at a very high rate of speed. Uh, looks like there may be a police vehicle that is following that vehicle. Looks like two or three at least. We are not sure exactly what is going on here or if this is actually a police chase if so what may have triggered it uh, but you can see that SUV has left the highway there and that we still have officers uh, behind them uh, we are trying to uh, get Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox back online as you can see that the uh, uh, signal did take a little bit of a hit but we're back online now uh, as you can see this SUV is moving and so is that SUV it looks like a police vehicle behind it as well um, right now now we can see that uh, this is this is very dangerous here. Uh, you can see that that vehicle is like dipping around um, 18 wheelers. Um, and this is a busy time of the day right now on the highway. So we are definitely. I, I, I apologize. I got some information from the control room. Could we uh, repeat that, please? Okay, we are hearing that uh, this is a police pursuit and that officers may terminate this police pursuit because, as you can see, the, the speeds have gotten really high. It looks like the driver in the front of the car, in the front of this situation, is dipping around vehicles. And this is a very, very dangerous situation. We will continue to follow this and we will continue to bring you more here on Fox 2 News in the morning. We are going to stay with this for a while as we see exactly what happens here. Uh, if you are in the area at all and you have plans to go anywhere, we do recommend that you avoid northbound 55 here uh, near Loughborough. Uh, through the depressed section. They are headed to the dep depressed section uh, in downtown St. Louis. Um, this is, and also we are hearing from St. Louis County, uh, there have been attempts to put out spike strips to stop this pursuit. Um, and you can see that they're going right over the so-called new lid that is at the uh, Gateway Arch Grounds. And here is where the highway gets very skinny. You have various uh, other highways like 55, 40, 70 all uh, taking off in different areas there. They just passed up the dome at America Center. And you can see traffic, uh, other drivers, they just have no idea what is going on. Again, if you are in this area, we do recommend that you avoid it for right now because the speeds have not taken a break at all. But it looks like we're running out of uh, lanes. Again, you may have like four lanes at one point. You may have just one or two. There is construction in the area as well. Um, oh, there is a school bus. So again, this situation has gotten very dangerous. Um, we can still see we can still see that police officers are still pursuing this vehicle, but um, it, but it's just taking off. And these are the situations that leave officers with a very difficult decision as to whether or not they should continue this pursuit. We are not sure what the driver or anyone else inside the car may be suspected of. Uh, we are not sure what triggered this in the first place, but we do know that this is clearly a high speed pursuit and it is going through highways uh, in and near downtown St. Louis. Again, we have 18 wheelers on the road. We have passenger vehicles on the road. We have this SUV is switching lanes right now. So if you are in that area, we do recommend that you uh, that you make sure that you avoid the area. They must be north of downtown St. Louis by this point. Um, again, if you guys are in the area, if you have it, any business in the area, we do recommend that you stay put to where you are right now because we don't know exactly where this is going to terminate. Uh, let me ask the control room if we could get this uh, video in one of the big monitors just so I can see some of the exits a little bit better. Thank you so much. Um, again, we do have an SUV there. That is a St. Louis City Police uh, SUV that is in pursuit. Uh, this is clearly part of North St. Louis City. Um, I believe this 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 looks like this is uh, Interstate 70, but we will know about that in just a little bit. Again, we have another school bus there. We have more passenger vehicles there. Uh, they are passing Grand, so this is Interstate 70. They just passed Grand, so they're going now westbound on Grand or westbound on Interstate 70 near Grand. 
Um, they are going to be approaching um, Cary Street soon. They're going to be approaching Shreve. Uh, again, these are areas that you definitely need to make sure that you avoid. Um, also, uh, again, you can see more uh, passenger vehicles that are getting passed up there. It seems like this guy or girl uh, or woman is uh, threading the needle here. Very dangerous situation. And the speeds have not let up yet. This is breaking news from Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox. We first got this uh, in w when this pursuit had started uh, in South St. Louis at 55 northbound at Loughborough. And now it's going westbound on 70 in North St. Louis. We have Margie Ellosor here with us. Uh, have you been able to talk to the uh, Simon desk and learn anything else about what's going on? Not, not anything more right now, Kim, than what you've been uh, telling our viewers as we continue to monitor this. You know, we want to keep this up above and on our air because this is actually helping police right now. Okay. As well to be able to follow this and, and see exactly where this vehicle is heading next. Obviously, it's, it's a very dangerous situation as you see these, you know, cars on the road and them, as you said, trying to just swerve in between them uh, with police still uh, in, in really close pursuit. And I'm trying to see where they are exactly at this point. Uh, yeah, we, are, we are still westbound on westbound, 70 yep. at this point. It pretty much just goes straight through. So the only way that, they, that they'll leave the highway right. is uh, if they actually uh, take one of the exits, which they have not chosen mm -hmm. to do. Oh, that's the ADM building yep. there. So, so uh, that is at West Florissant and 70. Uh, again, Margie, this is a very dangerous situation. Mm -hmm. And this yes. is one of the reasons why it is uh, uh, police departments all over our area have a very tough decision uh, of deciding exactly when they're going, if they're going to terminate uh, a chase or not. They are approaching Union Boulevard now in North St. Louis. Uh, that was the Union exit right there. So uh, the next one I do believe will be Goodfellow mm -hmm. uh, if this continues. Well, it makes it difficult too for police because they're not sure where that car is going to put down spike strips. We know that they have tried to, to do something like that. And it does look as though some of these vehicles are getting over off to the side of the road or onto the shoulder uh, to give this car room to get by and obviously take care of themselves as well. Yeah, all these cars should be just getting over and out of the way of, of this vehicle and police as they are still in tow of this vehicle. Okay, it does look like they are going off of an exit Yeah, that's here. Riverview right there. Uh -huh. That is Riverview Boulevard right there. So, uh, it, again, if it's you are at down. Riverview Boulevard near 70, definitely stay in your house, stay off the street if you all are watching us Looks right like now. They're stopping the vehicle right now, right off of Riverview Avenue and I-70. So you can see all the police cars there and the police are now out of uh, an unmarked car as well as the marked vehicles and they do have uh, their guns drawn. It looks like the driver is sticking uh, their hand out of the open driver's side window. Uh, right now we're counting one, two, three, four marked police vehicles and unmarked vehicle. Uh, we have several officers running up toward the vehicle but stopping just short, giving themselves some cover behind their own police vehicles. It looks like the driver is coming out of the vehicle right now as well. So we have two, four, six, yep. seven police vehicles. plus. Okay, he's on the ground. Okay. All right, it looks like th this person is surrendering. And it looks like uh, they're surrendering without further incidents, mm -hmm. which is definitely good. Uh, if we like could, they're opening the, yep, they're pa passenger. Open the passenger side doors and no one else has come out of that vehicle yet. So uh, again, it looks like they have this uh, person on the ground right now. We're not sure uh, just yet of the, uh, it, it appears to be a male, not sure of their age. We're also not sure of the status of this vehicle, if that's their vehicle, if it's stolen. Uh, again, we're, we're not exactly sure what triggered this pursuit in the first place, but it looks like it's ended with no vehicles uh, crashed into, no damage, no injuries. That's always good. Yeah, this did start in, in South County a bit ago. And as you've been able to watch from Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox as they continued this pursuit onto I-70. And then, as you can see, yes, they have him in cuffs. This is uh, right off of Riverview Avenue there and uh, surrendered without incident. And we'll be taking uh, this person in. You know, this is the best case scenario right now. Um, unfortunately, that chase was extremely dangerous. Mm -hmm. We could have, uh, here on Fox 2, we've covered lots of police chases that just went so badly. You know, unfortunately, people dying live on camera, and luckily, that did not happen here. Um, you know, you have to credit the work of uh, police officers yeah. for staying uh, with this, and, and thankfully, the driver just knew when to quit and went ahead and pulled over.
So uh, as you can see, that uh, driver is in custody right now. Uh, this is at Interstate 70 and Riverview in North St. Louis. We will continue to bring you more on this on Fox 2 News in the morning as well as Fox 2 Now.